Aston Martin Vanquish, the flagship hand-built V12 powered beauty. And it's got an exhaust symphony sent from heaven. This 2014 Vanquish is in storm black with obsidian black and spicy red interior leather. It's the apex example. The owner originally spec'd every option and it comes in at a full $325,000 sticker. And that's in 2014 pricing. A 3,897 pound carbon fiber and aluminum work of art. As the saying goes, they just don't make them like they used to. In this video, we cover the specific upgrades, some general thoughts on the Aston Martin Vanquish, and we take a point of view drive. Good morning, welcome to Driven Nashville. My name is Adam, and today you are looking at a 2014 Aston Martin Vanquish, hand-built in Gaydon, England, and today we are going to be showing you everything about this particular car. Uh, to this day, I've owned this car for about a year. It's been on the channel. I love it. This was always my dream car. And in this video, we're going to go through the specific spec of the car. I'm going to do a point of view driving so you get a really good idea of how it sounds and how it performs. Uh, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Apologize for any wind noise. We are outside today. It's just the absolute most gorgeous morning. So I had to shoot this outside. And uh, guys, I just hope you, uh, you appreciate the content and enjoy it. I'll look out for your comments please like and subscribe and let's get into this absolutely drop dead hand-built sexy Aston Martin Vanquish shall we this has every carbon fiber option they made so you have the carbon fiber mirrors you have the carbon fiber side skirts you have the carbon fiber roof okay the entire roof is carbon fiber now I understand it's a little challenging to see it on the black so if you do get a lighter color like white it's not the worst idea the whole bottom of the car is also carbon fiber, but keep in mind that comes stock. So the whole Vanquish is essentially a carbon fiber car. Now you can see at the bottom, the entire bottom uh, basically lip of the car is also carbon fiber and a really cool design language, which I'm gonna try to show you here. You see how this is carbon, but this is painted the color of the body. Now, some of the, especially on the S version, this right here can be a really insane color. Uh, but for the most part, that is uh, going to be the body color. And coming around to the back, just to round out the carbon options, the entire rear splitter of the car is also fully carbon fiber with the body color. The here. things that are an upgrade are going to be mirrors, side skirts, door handles, and the roof. Okay, now I'm gonna put the spec sheet on the uh, screen right here so you can see uh, specifically the MSRP, which is 325,000. And then you can go ahead and just go and see all of the options and what the carbon fiber. So that's on the exterior. Two tone anthracite. So this is a gloss black with the gloss finish. Absolutely sexy. Doesn't look as good in pictures as it does in person, just because you can really see the two tone. And then of course with those red brake calipers. So that rounds out for the most part, the upgrades. Um, you know, there is an integrated wing in the back. See this right here? So that is not an upgrade, that just comes with the Vanquish. You know, Henrik Fisker and David Brown, when they designed the Vanquish, when I first saw this car, I, th I said, this is the most uh, attractive, sexy car I've ever seen. Even seven years later, I still think this is probably the hottest car on the market. Uh, but obviously it's not the fastest car, technology's outpaced it. But as having a place in history, as far as the exterior, uh, I just I just think it's the most beautiful Aston Martin ever made. Okie dokie. So coming into the inside of the vehicle, this is a two-tone red and black. This is called Pepper Red. And this also has the fully upgraded quilt stitching pattern throughout the entire vehicle. So this has the rear seats. So you can see the rear seats also has the quilt stitching. And the quilt stitching actually extends all the way through the car. Isn't that cool? And then coming into the front of the car, this has the Vanquish in the logo. And then coming down the seats, you can see the seats have that quilt stitching all the way through it. It's really, really uh, just a beautiful interior. Now on the inside, as another upgrade, this has the herringbone carbon fiber. <clears throat> this has the 177 steering wheel, so it has the squared off 
It also has the color contrast right here. And it has, uh, I wish this was leather because it's starting to age, uh, but it does feel really nice. Uh, but this does have the Alcantara insert. The whole roof is also Alcantara as well, okay? Um, and it does have a really nice little stitch line there as well, which is kind of a nice detail. Now, a couple of other fun details. This does have the B&O sound system in it, the Bang & Olufsen, and you can see the pop-up tweeters here and on the door. But overall, the thing that makes, I think, Aston Martin so much better than so many other cars in the, cla in the category is just the interior quality, the way it looks. Um, it has such a sense of occasion to the interior that when you hop in and you turn it on, it just, it captures your attention, it captures your imagination, it's, it smells like a library. Uh, there's just such a sense of quality to it all. You know, I mentioned this in my last video, like most things in life, it's all about attention to detail. That right there is aluminum. Um, the buttons, the way they feel, like I'll hop in the car real quick. The way they feel, everything is crystal like the key check out the key right here this is the crystal key when you want to turn the car you insert it into the vehicle uh very few cars have that type of inserting it like it's an organic sensation you can see here the quality of the herringbone carbon fiber is flawless and i gotta say all this is touch and it actually has haptic feedback so it's just one of the most even though it's a little dated now uh, it still looks really good everything here is a glass you know it's transparent and see-through these light up so it's it's actually a really nice modern um interior in so many ways even though it's a 2014 uh, you do have some controls on the steering wheel. This is the ability to control your sport button, which opens up the exhaust and changes the characteristic of the V12. And then you also have the suspension. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, turn it on real quick and then I'll show you the engine. And uh, yeah, we'll do a startup sequence. All right, to turn it on, you wanna go ahead and put the key in, put your foot on the brake. There you go screen pops up tweeters pop up she sounds glorious and she's ready to go notice also as an upgrade these carbon fiber paddles here as well so these paddles are a three thousand dollar upgrade so again be sure to reference the spec sheet to see but this is just about a fully specced out vanquish all right guys let me show you the hood and by the way i just had the car paint corrected so it, it's, it looks about as good as it's going to look if you want to open the hood on this car there's a latch you pull right here and you pull it up and then it opens the glorious hand-built v12 now there's a couple of details about aston martin i mean the whole car's hand-built it feels hand-built it also plays into some of the downsides of the car which i'll get into in the driving portion but notice scott andrews here um, when it went ahead and basically did the final inspection. That's just part of the character. This is a 565 horsepower naturally aspirated V12. It revs, I think, to 7,300 RPMs. Um, it is a very linear power plant, very similar to Porsche. It picks up its momentum. It picks up its performance in the higher RPM range. It doesn't punch because it doesn't have the, the twin turbo. If you want that low end grunt, you're gonna wanna go ahead and buy the DB11 or you're gonna wanna go ahead and buy the DBS because those have the twin turbo. Now I will say the newer version of this car, this is a 2014. So the 2014 has the ZF six speed transmission, which again is one of the negatives. That makes the zero to 60 time a little bit slower. It's in the low four second range. If you get a 2015 with the eight speed the zero to 60 is in the high three second range you also get a higher top end speed you get faster shifts i will say though in automatic mode this engine and the transmission is so nice and easy to drive it makes the car extremely livable the while it is thing is carbon fiber you also have these uh, massive inlets so i don't know if you can see the carbon fiber here in the weave or not Let's see if i can show you see that the whole thing, guys, is carbon fiber, right? And what's also cool about that is everything, every single panel is carbon fiber. So when you come around here to the back and you open it up, 
pushing this, this is all carbon fiber as well. So again, as far as like, you know, exotic materials that went into building a car, every panel is carbon fiber and you can feel it. All you gotta do is tap on it. And when you clean the car, you'll definitely notice it. But every panel is carbon fiber, not just the pieces you see. The rest of it's just painted carbon. Um, you know, ironically, it doesn't make the car that light. Uh, it's still a fairly heavy vehicle, um, but they did their best to, to reduce the weight. And I just love how they did the design language of the car. It's so beautiful. The only negative of having every piece carbon fiber is if you have any accidents, it's extremely expensive to replace the panels. All right, let's go for a drive, shall we? So first thing about the Vanquish you guys got to understand if you're looking to own this car is everything is very tight it looks like a grand touring car but it drives in so many ways like a race car there is very little play in the steering wheel as you'll see okay um just be mindful of that uh it's it's easy to drive don't get me wrong it's not difficult to drive but it's just tight that's all so if you're gonna daily the car, it's not gonna give you that like relaxed feeling. You know, if you're coming up to a stoplight and you're making a right-hand turn, you're gonna have to be very precise. Otherwise, you could very well mess it up. Now, when you drive it, it's pretty quiet until you put it in sport mode. When you put it in sport mode, it really wakes the engine up. It really wakes up the way the whole car feels. It shifts a little bit harsher, but still pretty smooth, I will say. It's, uh, it's not uncomfortable uh, even, even in sport mode. Not nearly as much as, uh, you know, the new Corvette C8 I just reviewed in track mode. That thing was uh, still pretty smooth, I gotta say, but definitely on the more harsh side of things, okay? You can see, though, in automatic mode, it just butters along, right? It, it, it's very easy to drive and enjoy the drive and relax. Uh, it has multiple personalities and you're gonna see that in a second. Let's drive. to run out all right so you do have power in fifth like I'll go ahead and give it half throttle right like yes it's got some get some get up and go but if you really want to enjoy the power plant like I said earlier you kind of like a Porsche you got to run it out a bit uh, it's just a linear car it likes to uh, enjoy the revs but it is very tight, even in normal mode and on a road like this, you know, it's, it's just very, uh, it's not easy to drive, I will say, but it gives it a lot of character and it's fun. Now you also might be able to hear inside the center there is rattling a little bit. So these cars, I'd say the only negative, just because of the hand-built nature of them, is the fact that they do have some rattling. Now, mine's not that bad. Uh, if you shut the screen, the rattling does go away. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that. You can see the downshifts. They're very smooth, even in sport mode. when you shift it there you go it's not slow I've said that before on camera brakes are great carbon ceramics once they warm up they're as good as anything on the market as far as that yeah guys it's uh it's just a sweet car <laughs> It's, uh, it's not easy to drive though, I will say. It's a driver's car, so you gotta be mindful of that. You know, this is, this is not a modern BMW, right? It's rear wheel drive, it's got a lot of power, it's heavy. 
Uh, it's got a very tight uh, suspension. So I'm just saying you can absolutely keep up with just about any car on the road in this particular vehicle, but you just gotta be a, a better driver. Um, now I'm probably going to look like I'm terrible on camera because I'm trying to keep the, uh, you know, the content looking good here and doing my best. But, uh, you know, when I'm in the mood to drive on a nice day and I'm just two hands on the wheel, fully concentrated, this is probably one of the most enjoyable cars I've ever experienced. Again, it's the sense of occasion. It's not just the fact that it sounds amazing. It's not just the fact that it looks amazing. It's just a combination of everything, right? It's it's because, because to be honest with you, it's not the fastest car. It does have the screen here, which you can just close it like that, right? But you know, it, it, it's, not a, it's not a super modern car. I mean, you know, the new C8 in <coughs> so many ways, frankly, is a better car, um, you know? The McLarens, the Ferraris of the world, they've all uh, vastly exceeded this car in every way. The transmission's better, um, they've gone turbocharged, they're faster. But again, you know, it's a place in history for a 2014 car. I just think this, these are gonna become extremely- I'll try to shut up just so you guys can kind of hear the car and experience it. that shift it really likes to run out so in order to really get this car into its performance band that it likes you actually if you're doing 50 60 even 70 miles an hour you really need to be in fourth like fifth and sixth gear six is absolutely an overdrive gear it's only to be used on the highway but even fifth gear I would say is probably not ideal um, you probably want to really be in third and then you could actually run, as you come through these turns, right, you could really run it out and have a good time doing it. But man, when you get up into that higher RPM range, it really comes alive. That's about 85, maybe 85, I'd say 85 right there. I mean, really, it's it's not matched to the floor. The way this car's tuned, the way the, the way the transmission feels, it just doesn't necessarily beg you to, to, to just push it. <clears throat> I'm not saying it doesn't like to be pushed every once in a while to blow the carbon out, but it just, it's more of a grand touring car, right? So yeah, you could have fun. You could do that, right? But in the end of the day, you're gonna find yourself not doing that a lot, right? Uh, you're just gonna more or less enjoy the car, enjoy it in automatic mode. Now going back to the dual personality, you just put drive and boom. Downshifts, easy, butter, smooth. Yeah, you can have fun, it's rear wheel drive. You do have to be really careful that you don't lose it. I will say that. Uh, but you can have fun. You can enjoy the car. But when you want to just baby along, roll the windows down like we're about to do. <coughs> Stick your hand out. You've got yourself a 
good old time. All right, guys, that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed the driving point of view and the overview of the spec. Uh, overall, the Vanquish is still a phenomenal buy. It's a beautiful car. It's hand built. Overall, I just love this car. It gets all of the right attention. It's not ostentatious. Uh, it's just a beautiful car. I think it's gonna age so well, it already has. I, I honestly, there's, I mean, I think this is a nicer looking Aston Martin than the DBS in so many ways. It's just more elegant. Um, but in every way, the DBS is a better car. It has a better transmission, it's faster, but overall looks and design wise, I gotta give it to the old school Gen 2 Vanquish, which is what this is. If you can find a clean example, low miles, uh, no check engine lights, that's been well taken care of like this, uh, I promise you, you're not going to have any regrets. Uh, you know, it's a solid car, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hope the content's been awesome. Uh, hope that this gave you a little bit of sense of uh, enjoyment and got you out of your, uh, your just daily lives. And yeah, we'll catch you on the next video. Talk to you later.